around. skaters can similarly reduce their qualifying times. Solimar Vivas here, 19.743 in qualifying. Only one skater in qualifying went under 19 seconds. Vivas with that very long start stride. And just tucking in around that bend. To take a really tight line through the chicane, which she does. And the clock just kept going on her, didn't it? 19.497. Also faster by about a quarter of a second. So 19.497. It is for Vivas. Lost a little bit of time at the start, and that's where Erin Jackson. Excel, such a good starter. So Vivas, probably realistic enough to know that unless something really dramatic happens, a top three finish is not hers for the taking. What can Victoria Rodriguez do here? She's up next. all about the legs they are of course absolutely vital but the upper body has got to do some work as well open those shoulders up get the arms going help build a bit of speed up rodriguez looking to try and hit this which she does 
was right there. She moves ahead of Solimar, but Jackson's time is still holding up here. 19.427. Puts her in second place. here but uh, a little bit of time lost there going through the chicane and it really showed in her second phase although it's still good enough to get her into first place on the grid she's got the feeling there's a little bit more even there for us here there but out as it is 19.225 that's improved again on qualifying Oh. 
three here. So Jackson's time standing up pretty well. It's put her ahead of four other competitors. But capable of on the track in time trial skating picking up a superb gold in the 300 meters fourth fastest in qualifying here 19.436 19.091 is her target away goes Pajaro the Colombian winning world junior championship gold Less than a year ago, she has graduated to senior skating in some style, and she's really blasting down this straight. Big stretch there. It's not enough to get past Annie Siul. It will get her into second place, 19.124 for Pajaro. Again, significantly faster than she achieved in qualifying, but Annie Siul's time of 19.091 holds up again. Pajaro... Officially now timed at 19.116. Terrific sprint to the line. There's the stretch. But it doesn't put her in first place, and it probably won't give her a medal. There are still three to go. Sandrine Tass, Chen Ying Chu, and Maria Moyer, who just lit this track up in qualifying. Tass has four medals from the track medals of every color she has earned athlete of the day honors already from the world games is a is another medal hers for the taking here certainly when she was talking about her world games athlete of the day award she said i want more medals i'm hungry for more well can she get more here a time of 19.343 in qualifying and the belgian starting to build up ahead of steam this is where she's got to get it right through the chicane takes a nice tight line there comes out of it pretty well now she's got to just turn on the afterburners here tass what's she got oh dear that's a shock that's a stunning score from tass who is so used to being in the medals but she has registered a 19.662 way off what she achieved in qualifying now what went wrong well, there was a little misstep there, but that's all. She just wasn't able to generate any additional afterburn in the straight. So, a woman who is used to being on the podium will not be here. Bebel Alt remains in third place. Paharo ahead of her, and Anne Yi Siul is now assured of a medal, the Korean, to go with her track time trial, Silver. Chen Ying Chu, can she replicate what she managed in qualifying? A 19.241. If she shaves anything off that, she will be on the podium. So Chen, that long stride, getting some early momentum, good speed coming out of that first bend. Now, she too has got to make sure that she gets the chicane absolutely right, mustn't overcommit. You can lose so much time there, as we've seen already. Chen blasting for the line, taking first place. Well, she proved that her qualifying time was no fluke with this. 19.242. 
18.982. Now that's been rounded down a little bit more. 18.977 officially for Chen. She goes to the top of the board with only the Chilean, Maria Moya, to come. And Yi Siul currently in second place. Pajaro is in the bronze position, but for how much longer? Because here comes Maria Moya of Chile. If she just matches her qualifying time, she takes gold. She was so far ahead of the rest of the field. So the potential gold medalist gets underway here. Maria Moya, the Chilean, tucking in. Good speed coming off that first bend. Now opening up the shoulders, driving through the chicane. She's got to now attack down the straight here. Here comes the winning line, and it's a winning race as well for Maria Moya. She looked around and celebrated. The fastest woman in qualifying is also fastest when it matters as well. 18.840, just a fraction faster than she achieved in qualifying. So Chen pushed her hard. Moya really needed something special to win gold in this final. Something special is what she found. Really dipping in there, attacking this chicane. This is where it all went wrong for Sandrine Tass, who has finished 12th and last, incidentally. And then that power surge to the line, the stretch and the reaction. The glance at the clock that says you are a gold medalist at the World Games. Uh, isn't that deserved? She looked so good in qualifying. 18.869, 18.84 dead in the final talk about consistency Chen Ying Chu also very consistent the only other skater either in qualifying or in the race itself to go under 19 seconds she takes silver and An Yi Siul of Korea will collect her second medal of these world games it's a bronze but for Chile it's been a long wait for a gold medal they finally have one in speed skating and it's come in the shape of Maria Moya. 200 meter time trial road world games champion. Well, there were a couple of surprises here. Moya, Chen and Anne confirmed as the medalists. Pajaro, fourth Bebel out and Jackson's times from early stood up really well. Bongiorno settled for eighth, but the surprise was seeing Ingrid Factos and particularly Sandrine Tass just fade away through the chicane and into the straight to finish up 11th and 12th in qualifying. So no podium for them, but there will be a gold medal for Maria Moya of Chile. So we'll have a 10-minute recess or so now before the men's final is due off.